ABML stock, American Battery Technology Co. So the stock closed at zero point six eight dollars in the last trading session, the session of the first of July twenty twenty two. But what we have seen is that um, as of the twenty fourth of June up till the twenty eighth of June, which is probably how many trading sessions were they? Those were let's find out how many trading sessions that was twenty fourth to the twenty eighth. Okay, it was uh, just pretty much three trading sessions. The stock was, you know, just uh, couldn't overcome the resistance at around zero point seven five dollars, and thereafter it uh, retraced and fell below its ten day moving average. You know, uh, the underlying trend you, for the stock is clearly and evidently a bearish one. You know, we know that um, market participants are not very much confident at the moment we holding um, a BML stock even though those who are strongly bullish those who are confident those who believe uh, the stock is a long-term play are still holding on and also picking up um, uh, picking up buy more shares buy more shares you know especially when it um, dipped when it dipped yes when it dipped they did buy more shares they, they, they most certainly picked up more you know uh, as it concerns news as of the 21st of june the company uh, indicated that um, it, it has results of its uh, lithium brining br uh, lithium bearing tonopa flat expo exploration drilling phase one program and also as of uh, thursday the 30th of june we heard that the u.s supreme court has delivered a blow to buy to Biden's climate pledge by curbing the EPA's powers. You know, this is not um, directly related to ABML, but this is related to ABML, slightly remotely related to ABML. So, the U.S. Supreme Court has curbed the ability of the EPA to limit great greenhouse emissions from power plants in a landmark ruling. That de dealt a blow to the Biden administration's fight against climate change. So yes, a lot of market participants will deem this as not very wonderful news for ABML. You know, in as much as ABML is not exactly um, emitting um, greenhouse gases like uh, coal power plants are, are, do. You know, but ABML is producing lithium that is associated with uh, going green so you can see how that is you know clearly you know uh, related to abml so in the opinion the justices said they doubted congress's congress intended to delegate the question of how much coal based generation there should be to any administrative agency and epa is saying they will re review this decision and in that um, it remained committed to reducing environmental pollution and the coal industry welcomed yesterday's that that ruling that is uh, as of uh, first, the 1st of July, they were, they, they were indicating that they welcomed the ruling. And then the National Mining Association, this, these are also somewhat somehow associated with ABML because ABML is uh, associated with, with mining. We can just see what we talk, we indicated there about um, their uh, Tonopa Flats exploration drilling phase. So they are, uh, uh, you can see how it's um, interchangeably. Um, it, this this ruling interchangeably re relates to ABML. So yeah, the, this nine, National Mining Association is indicating that uh, um, the court has shown that there are there were limits to the authority that administrative agencies have to unilaterally, unilaterally issue transmittive rules. So yes, yes, you know it's you know ABML itself. You know there there are other challenge there are the various challenges it faces in mining. Uh, uh, lithium and all that stuff. So, this ruling affects it positively and also affects it, affects, affects it there to some extent negatively. But um, moving on, we can see um, what we have down here. It is that um, a BML stock appears to be rallying within a longer term bearish trend, driving its MACD. Uh, above the signal line. However, the shares remain below a declining 200 day moving average, signifying that the dominant trend remains lower. It's also lagging the SP 500. Uh, momentum is uh, strongly bearish. The 14 period of slow gas calculators has fallen as investors 
and sell their, their, sell their shares and drive the price lower. But the unbalanced volume indicator is bearish. The slope of the indicator is negative, it's negative and suggests that there is lack of buying interest. At the moment, yes, there is a lack of buying interest and um, that is clearly evident. So we're still maintaining um, uh, our price target of between $1.1 1.1 dollars and 1.47 dollars it hasn't reached there since the last time we came up with that target but um fingers crossed we're still there we're also maintaining the fact that uh, the the projection that it's like it has a potential to fall below 0, 0 0.64 and since that time it has it's has actually fallen there as close to it has actually reached 0 0.64 it hasn't fallen below that so our target uh, we were projecting that it could drop below that so it has come close to that but has not fallen below that, you know. So going back all that has been happening of late, and you know, especially see what happened of late, especially as of uh, the twenty fourth of uh, of June and up till the twenty eighth, you know, the stock was just moving, inching, almost uh, there was all, almost no move, no change there, you know, facing that resistance there. Going by all of that, you know, uh, it's ten day moving, it's ten day standard deviation, statistically speaking. Um, is very very small very small at 0 .0, 0 0.003 because of that statistically statistically speaking the probability that um, a BML stock will you know drop significantly is not very high very 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 small and as a matter of fact the probability that it will probably uh, rise above its uh, 10 day moving average this is just where it is that 10 day moving average is at um, 0 0.71 dollars the probability that it will rise above that is very high the probability that it will drop further from where it is right now 0 0.65 dollars is not very high based on the statistics especially uh, influenced by its uh, standard deviation uh, standard deviation and that is also the case with uh, its um 20 day moving average the statistic the, the probability that it will um fall further away from its 50 day 20 day moving average is also not very high as well so um it hasn't you know been that volatile of late you know so that started based on those uh, figures based on that fact the probability of uh huge uh, retracements are not uh, very high you know um given all of that you must have heard about the contagion um the crypto contagion and how it's the risk of it uh, affecting banks so um see this video of ours it has uh, gotten a lot of views and um, if i were you i'll watch it next and uh, see what's what's uh, going on so i'm recommending that you watch this next video um crypto con crypto contagion risk regulators got it wrong in 2008 what of 2022 okay so um thank you very much for watching this video